Kazakhstan is one of the most multinational countries in the world. Here live representatives of more than 130 ethnic groups and nationalities. Each ethnos is a unique tradition, unique holidays, fascinating stories and amazing recipes. Recipes of kindness and peace, recipes of respect for their ancestors and foreign culture, recipes of friendship. Hello, you are watching Recipe for Friendship. My name is Aleftina Majarova. Today's program is dedicated to perhaps one of the major events of the year in our country, the 20th anniversary of the capital. And in this program you will see the traditions of numerous people whose cultures are represented in Kazakhstan. In today's program, unusual approach to museum events from the Isik Museum Reserve. We want to say that there are very different formats of communication with the audience. The museum is open, so we can share all about what it has in a very different way. Innovations at the service of preserving traditions. I think that uh, over the recent years we, we see that so much more attention is being paid uh, to the, what UNESCO refers to as intangible cultural heritage. So it, uh, it is the, um, uh, the traditions, uh, the um, uh, handicrafts, uh, music and, and everything that actually makes us uh, special. The Festival of Nomadic Ethnoculture in Astana. Hello, I would like to congratulate Astana with its 20th anniversary. My name is Radost. You know what it means in Russian. Last name is Ginchiva. I'm from Bulgaria. As well as interesting facts about the capital and its history. Astana. Interesting facts. According to the official data, there are 25 people with the name Astana in Kazakhstan. Names, celebrations and different kinds of events are dedicated to the capital. Events are taking place all year round. Among them is the cultural event held in Isik. The State Historical and Cultural Reserve Museum Isik annually introduces new programs to attract visitors. This time even the date of the event was moved for a month which guests really appreciated. Well, usually we think that the night at the museum should take place on the day of the museum. But we moved away from this rule and held the night at the museum on a different day, on June the 15th. Today we invited visitors to more than 20 programs, national games. We invited the theatres. We have a concert program, we have national games, for example, Aksuyak, Saki fires, so I think this is significantly different from the previous events that we had. The focus was made on traditions and national games, masterclasses and products of artisans, a chance to learn more about national weapons. It is obvious that the organizers chose the right path. Well, we want people to love the museum. We want people to grow a habit of going to the museum. Because people for some reason believe that the museum is a boring place where you can just see the exhibits. We want people to show that the museum is a living organism. Here you can come, on the one hand, to learn and discover something, and at the same time have a fun experience. Astana, interesting facts. Hazrat Sultan as one of the largest mosques in Asia covers an area of 11 hectares and can accommodate up to 10,000 people. The dome of the mosque has a height of 51 meters and its diameter is 28 meters. Around the main dome, there are eight small domes and in the corners of the mosque, there are four 77-meter minarets. The facade and interior design are decorated with traditional Kazakh ornaments. While children rode on Altibakan, it is hard to imagine any summer festivities in Kazakhstan without them. Adults also discovered something new for themselves. This time we were struck by the fact that we saw a masterclass in arms. That's something new for us. And for girls, you know, it's so unusual and epic. In general, we were happy and didn't touch the chain mail. You know, every year the program is always different and interesting. 
In archaeologist by training, Stanislav Pantapa presents here the club of historical reconstruction called Griffin. Interest towards the ancient martial arts is obvious, especially when it comes to the types of combat and weapons that were used many centuries ago in these parts. Since the Issyk Museum and the region of Issyk is the birthplace of the Golden Man, we came here with the Saka period. This is Saki Arinik. There are swords and arms of a later period, for example, Kazakh weapons. This is a Kazakh saber used by knights. This is Ibolta, a classic equestrian axe. And Turkic weapons, a heavy Turkic knight sword. You see here a complete set, bows, arrows of Saki period with a bow and arrow. That is a full combat kit. To hold the Akinak in your hands that was once used by the golden man, how exciting is this? And for sure the guests having taken part in such a festival will change their approach to ordinary museum activity once and for all. Unfortunately, very little is done to keep an interest for history. In museums, this kind of festivals, some clubs of historical reconstructions, they present this history in a more engaging way. When it is possible to try on something, to feel and touch something, it's one thing to read in the textbooks, and it's another thing to hold it in your hands. So such events, they allow for a deeper understanding of culture in general. Astana. Interesting facts. The biggest flag of Kazakhstan. It is waving over Astana. Its dimensions are 15 by 30 meters. In addition, it rises above the city by 111 meters, which allow you to see it from any point in Astana. It is noteworthy that such a holiday arranged in Isik was visited by many guests not only from neighboring towns and villages, but also from Almaty and you know that the residents of our both capitals are spoiled with all sorts of events. So there were no doubts about the success of the venture. We want to say that there are very different formats of communication with the audience. The museum is open, so we can share all about what it has in a very different way. We held a fashion show for the first time. We did not have a fashion show before. Usually we exhibited modern art and other types of fine arts. And this time we had a modern theater for the first time. We want to say that the night at the museum is very flexible for any interpretation. We have prepared the holding of national games. The traditional part of the museum event is always held at the end. We always choose those artists who work in ethnic direction, but there are modern ones that have not been heard. We have Dawlet Japarov, he's from the Museum of Applied Art from Akchi. Stanislav Potapov from the Institute of Archaeology, he showed the rules of hand-to-hand -hand combat as it was done in the Saka time. The rich heritage of the residents of Kazakhstan and our traditions attract the interest of specialists and its preservation is of international importance. I think that uh, over the recent years we, we see that so much more attention is being paid uh, to the, what UNESCO refers to as intangible cultural heritage. So it, uh, it is the, um, uh, the traditions, uh, the um, uh, handicrafts, uh, music and, and everything that actually makes us uh, special. Um, I, I, I think that there are many reasons for that, probably because of the globalization. Uh, we, we see that um, uh, more and more, uh, you know, because of the information and media flows, we, we have a tendency to eat everywhere the same food, uh, wear the same clothes. Uh, and I think that there is a kind of awareness that now um, uh, arises because of that, uh, uh, that we st start to cherish more uh, our cultural differences and to embrace this cultural diversity that still exists in the world. Um, UNESCO has a special framework, a special convention to pr protect and safeguard intangible cultural heritage. And, and we do it because of its intrinsic value, uh, because of the, the diversity to try to uh, promote uh, the awareness about the importance of, of keeping these traditions. Astana, interesting facts. In 2018, the coat of arms and the flag of Astana turned 10 years old. The symbols were approved by the deputies of the Maslikant in 2008. The circle is based on the idea of perfection, absolute and eternity. The central element is the union of two symbols, Baitarak and Shani Rak. 
On the flag in the middle, there is a coat of arms from which the golden rays of the sun come out in all directions against the background of the color heavenly azure. Well, we are moving on to the festival of nomadic culture, specially timed to the days of the capital. It was held recently as part of the celebration of the capital's day. For two days, Astana, or rather the territory of Ethno Aul, plunged into the world of nomadic culture in its most vivid manifestations. Teams from eight different countries came to Kazakhstan to demonstrate their skills in archery, equestrian arts, art of Kamcha, and ancient kinds of games and wrestling. Hello, I would like to congratulate Astana with its 20th anniversary. My name is Radost. You know what it means in Russian. Last name is Ginchiva. I'm from Bulgaria. Our team is called Bogator. In Russian it means night. Probably this is the same. We also have the same owl. It is called Bogator. Children can learn everything, to ride a horse, archery and use Kamcha. This is all important history. Today we showed a small part which we show in Bulgaria. This is a demonstration through which we show our skills. The skills that were perfected by our ancestors. I believe that our ancestors were somehow connected. This is Kamcha. This is more difficult because you need to use all your strength. This is a weapon. This is a weapon which can be used by girls. I don't know the word for it in Russian. You aim for the enemy from afar using this weapon. Radostina Ginchova and her teammates came to Kazakhstan not for the first time. They participated at the traditional festival, the Spirit of the Great Steppe, which is held in Almaty. About 10 people arrived from Bulgaria. Well, with a whole team of 15 to 16 people. Even small children can do this from a young age of 10 to 11 years old. Our young people of 20 years old can also teach how to ride a horse, use a bow and dero and kamcha. Girls wear costumes and participate also. They participate as nymphas, as you call it here, they dance. We also showed the performance of Amazons. They could ride a horse, use a bow and arrow and kamcha. A group of men who participate as stunt workers also came here. They work in films. We participate as stunt workers. I'm a stunt worker. There were a lot of guests from Mongolia, Buryatia, Turkey, Kyrgyzstan and Hungary. And I must say that not all brought with them just martial arts, music, crafts and cuisine. There was a place for everything.
I came from the city of Chelyabinsk. I represent the ethnos of Finno-Ugrians. I have a slightly stylized costume. I made sure that it wasn't similar to any country. I prefer to be myself. I'm not a reenactor. I just sing with my throat. I play on Kamishak. I play on Dombra. I play on Morin Skuras and different ethnic musical instruments. Therefore, I try without copying to be closer, of course, to the Scythians. To Scythian barters, in patterns, symbols, I try to be closer to them. Well, after all, I'm a musician, not a warrior, so I do not really need this. It's an instrument. I'm trying to portray different animals in my music. Because the Scythians used a lot of zoomorphic ornaments. For example, it can show a sound of eagle. You can croak like a crow or like a cow. We also use throat singing and vagan. Astana, I congratulate you on a major anniversary, the 20th anniversary. I congratulate all Astana citizens on a big holiday. Let the whole universe unite to make all your dreams, hopes and desires come true. Astana, interesting facts. For 20 years, the population of the capital has increased almost threefold. In the 90s, less than 300,000 people lived in Astana, and now we are talking about a city with 1 million residents. The team of equestrian archers of the Megya Turan Foundation are frequent and welcomed guests. They and their show program have become one of the signature performances of the entire program. The interest towards Hunnish culture is also fueled by the closeness of culture between our ancestors. After all, it is no secret that there is a lot in common in the history, culture and even genetics of our people. Throughout the festivities, the audience was presented with a lot of national games and fun. Baiga, playing in our six, elements of various types of hunting, reenactment of wedding ceremonies. And of course, one of the key moments was the mass performance of the beloved dance Kara Joga. Astana, interesting facts. 3,000 kilometers, this is the distance from the nearest ocean to the capital's Aquarium Duman. Thus, the Aquarium of the Entertainment Complex Duman is listed in the Guinness Book of Records as the most remote aquarium from the ocean in the world. The festival of ethnic culture called Nomads lasted for two days and undoubtedly was enjoyed by Astana's guests and residents. Will the festival be an annual event? I would like it to be. Well, we will continue the story about the celebration of the Jubilee of Astana together with our ethno-cultural centers and we still have a lot of bright holidays ahead. After all, the whole country celebrates the day of the capital. Astana, interesting facts. Astana in translation from Kazakh means capital. In the world, there is another city that has such a translation, Seoul. From Korean, Seoul is translated as capital. On this note, let me say goodbye to you, but not for long. The recipe for friendship program 
continues its discovery of cultures, traditions and customs of people living in Kazakhstan. See you next time on Kazakh TV. Thank you.